Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Well, it looks like a Whopper is not going to happen today. Bummer. I know. I can't have it my way yet again. And you know who we have to thank for that? Mother Nature. Mother Nature was the reason why this Burger King closed. Anyway, yeah, we're here in Cleveland, Ohio. We're here on uh, Brook Park Road, and this Burger King is actually pretty aesthetic. I like the aesthetics of this one. It just sucks that it closed, and from what I understand, as of the filming of this video in early March 2021, this place closed up around 10, 11 months ago due to a flood and never reopened. But, I mean, when I look inside these windows just from sitting here in the car, it looks okay, but... We'll see what we see when we go up to the doors and windows and look in there, so. I said there was three Wi-Fi on the door, but I don't think so. I doubt that. I um, think our best bet would be to go to Walmart, which I don't want to do. Or Sam's. Or Sam's, which also I don't want to do. <laughs> I would rather go here and get some nice moldy, uh, cheesy tots covered in sewer, flood, mop, mud water, whatever you want to call it. All the all the Vietnam flashbacks I'm having from the floods in Millville. <laughs> anyway. This place kind of looks like a lodge, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't look like any Burger King I've ever seen before. And I know there's a couple of old images from this place, including the sign that said closed due to a flood again. Or flooding again. And I'll share that with you guys here. So, anyway, let's go up to the doors and check this one out. <laughs> Okay, so yes, here is Burger King, closed up and gone, and like we had mentioned, something pretty aesthetic, like a pl aesthetically pleasing, as you see me standing here, see my uh, image on the windows. <laughs> but yeah, I love this one, and it's this is where it said Burger King up here, this is one of those classic blue roof Burger Kings. See, this is what I love about these older places, are the aesthetics here that more places don't have now, and yeah, look, there's the mud tall tale sign this was flooded got the mud splashed up all over the doors i know that feeling i've been there a hundred times well no actually four times so they even got some of the buildings stripped up there along the sides pretty gross so when that happens believe me i've been there four times the hurricane ivan flood no four was the worst though in millville that was horrible for a lot of people. But anyway, yeah, still aesthetically pleasing in here. Still got some power to the building. Free Wi-Fi, which they don't have anymore. A little muddy in here, but that's to be expected. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, there's mud on there, on the chairs. Yep, I know, I remember that all too well. It's interesting that they have this little room here, too. It's like a little party room, I guess, with that door secluding this area from the rest of the restaurant. So I guess it was like a little party room, like for kids' birthdays or like if you had an office party, why anybody would have one at Burger King is beyond me, but some people do. But anyway, let's walk around this joint. I'll show you the sign over here. That one right there is where it says closed, as you can see. And the sign said closed due to flooding again i saw the picture on google images when i was trying to find info about this place so and i just i can't i can't seem to figure out how this would flood because i mean we're actually higher up here than there oh i see there's a bridge or so maybe there's like a creek or a stream that goes through right there but yeah here is your building i just i love this one i hate the shoebox format this one's awesome. Drive through, hidden behind the bushes. You had the big light to light up the flagpole here, which I imagine had the American flag on it. Or a big Burger King flag, I don't know. <laughs> we'll walk up to these windows here real quick. It's a shame, I like, I like this area. I like Cleveland. 
I just heard a firework. <laughs> that was a mortar and shell. I see dirt on the seats. How high did the water get then? Because like as someone who's been in floods, I'm looking for like a line, like a high water mark line, like on the building, the bricks, anywhere that I could possibly see one on the glass doors. Up, oh, I see, I see it. Now we have an idea of how high this water was, right up to that master lock thing. Look at that. It came up to here. That's your high water line there. So that's a good two and a half feet. Almost three feet high. These are the best handles any restaurant could ever have. The Burger King spatula handles. These are the best. You can't beat these. These are so cool. And many thanks to my really good friend, Nate. Thank you, buddy, for giving me yours. That was the coolest surprise I ever got in the mail from a friend like that. It just Because I wanted one, and when the Burger King and Allison Park closed... I wanted one of the handles off of that, and my friends uh, Tony, Francesco, and Giovanni and their family, they went up there to try and get them, but they, the owners and whatever took them off of the restaurant, and they claim they took them to another one, but we know what they did. They either kept them for themselves or threw them on eBay, but that was cool because after that is when this showed up in the mail out of nowhere from Nate, so thanks, Nate. That was cool, but... Yeah, just real quick, I just can't believe how high that water came up on here. Seeing the mud and the line literally up to that master lock thing. That would be almost up to my waist. So that's pretty high. Yeah, when water gets up that high, especially it being muddy, full of sewage, whatever, I can definitely see why they would close it. These walls got to be nasty underneath. I mean, they ripped out the bottom there probably to let, let it vent out a little bit or get the water up but yeah you can see the high water mark on those doors inside too if you look yeah you can see it right there right just just below the lock cylinder on the doors so yeah pretty gross that's amazing though especially since we're higher up here than it is down there so how bad did it flood down that way is what i want to know how bad did the Walmart and the Sam's Club flood? They probably got destroyed inside. And we're up a little bit higher here than the rest of the parking lot. It goes down more, so I don't I don't know. What a big snow pile. We were here a week ago, and I saw this, and I wanted to film this place then, but there was like a foot of snow. And I tried pulling into the parking lot, even though this hadn't been treated. I got about 10 feet in and I heard a thump and I'm like, nope, I'm stopping. I backed out because one, I didn't want to get stuck in the snow and two, I didn't want to screw up my alignment if there was a curb or something that I couldn't see. So I backed out and said to heck with it. Here's their trash area, Budweiser cans, trash cans, muddy, nasty trash cans. What a mess. Still rocking the sign frame, signless signs. Here's where your drive through ordering screen would have been that's completely gone nothing even there Let's see what's back here if anything be cool to take a walk inside though but i doubt it nope <laughs> it's just a curiosity factor just wanting to look around that's all not here to do any harm check out the old bp aesthetics here though the car wash sign the colors even though the canopy and the logo are all new. Anyway, back to Burger King. Here's your drive through Double window action going on here. Double uh, flipping of the bird to me if I want to get anything to eat. Like onion rings, nothing. There's absolutely nothing in there. I'm trying to see where the high water line is in there. You can see they got squeegees in there, so they were trying to clean it out. They just never reopened it from the flood say it flooding no bueno i hate it boy is it a nice day out here though today 60 degrees now sharp contrast from a week ago when i was walking on lake erie and it was literally uh 20 degrees 18 degrees on a saturday and here i am one week later at 60 i'm just rocking a t-shirt and pants and no jacket nothing all right let's look at this stuff here <laughs> yeah so here's your other drive through window and oh yeah, here's the virus crap. 
Dining room is temporarily closed in addition to cleaning and sanitizing procedures in our stores. We are taking this additional precaution to prevent the spread of crap at 19. And I say that just because it tried to ruin a year of our life and I didn't let it ruin a year of mine. Still went out and got videos for you guys to enjoy. Tried to give you guys something to take your mind off of that, that pandemic crap. I'm glad things are st starting to improve and sooner rather than later we're going to get back to some normalcy. I'm, I'm very optimistic and I hope, I hope our videos have helped you guys take your mind off of it and put you guys at ease for a little bit. So yeah, that's your dining room. That's your restaurant here. Nice big wide drive through. Just dead and empty. Love the blue shingles though on this place. I wonder, I guess they had neon bulbs or were they just exposed like that? It seems kind of weird that they would be. So I don't know if they had shingle or like covers over that to make it really light up neat. Perhaps maybe back in the day they had other lights up there like neon. I don't know. And was this always a Burger King? Or was this something else? Because this is out of character for a Burger King to have this entrance like this with the awning. But I love it. It's really dope. I love that a lot. Oh, well. Hey, see, girlfriend, don't poop on me. Yeah, go that way. <laughs> no matter where I go, those seagulls are out to get me. I mean... Huh? They follow you. <laughs> well, we are in Cleveland on the Great Lake of Great of Lake Erie, so it's normal. But still, they're always around me, trying to poop on me. You blame them? Just kidding. No, Just kidding. let's get back in the car. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this look here at this Burger King. No wonder they closed it out. I mean, this place was washed away. I mean, with water that high, that's basically going over the seats, the over top of the seats and the booths and the chairs. So. No wonder Dang. they close. That's a muddy mess. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about waist high, so. And if it happened during the pandemic, things were so uncertain, they were probably like, well, forget this, we'll just close. We don't know what the future holds. Yeah, and I mean, just from driving through this area one week ago, I saw at least another two, three Burger Kings in the vicinity. So it's not like they're hurting for BKs up here. They got them if you really want to go to Burger King. I know there's another abandoned one just a couple of miles away. Uh, if I can remember where it was exactly, I'm going to do a video there. But if I can't find it, then you'll find out when you never see a video from another Cleveland Burger King. <laughs> uh, especially noting this one. But yeah, uh, I love these aesthetic ones. They got to close these ones, but open up the shoebox ones that look like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> This one looks like a lodge. I know. It looks comfortable mm -hmm. for a fast food restaurant. And I'm not even a big Burger King person. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I like the onion rings and your cheesy tots, but that's about where it ends. Mm -hmm. And even then, I very seldom go to a Burger King. So, even though I joke around saying how I'll never get food, never get anything to eat, I, I do stop at a Burger King maybe once every six months or something like that. If, if even that, maybe once a year or twice a year. So... Oh well. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our video, everybody. If you did, oh, be quiet. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get notified of all videos. And we'll talk to you guys later because we're going to take off, go somewhere else, try and find another place to eat or another place to film, whatever, whatever comes first more likely the filming than eating. <laughs> All right, everybody, take care. Stay awesome. Okay, let's stay. <laughs> bye. There's bye. an alarm going off. Oh, you, I thought you were saying bye, so I was like, bye. Yeah, me too. I was saying bye. But do you hear it? <laughs> oh, well. Now it's off. Okay. Signing off. Bye. Bye. <laughs>